Hi, and thanks for joining me for the class today. So today's class includes a range of exercise sequences focused on building the strength within our abdominals and our glute muscles. So we're going to start the class in standing and warm up, and then we're going to come down into four point kneeling, then down onto our sides and then onto our backs as well. So I hope you enjoy the class today. Remember, always work to a level that you feel comfortable with, because most importantly, we want you to enjoy the class. OK, so when you're ready, let's get started. OK, so let's get started. So we're going to bring our toes apart and those heels apart. So those feet at that hip width distance. Just to start with, we're going to transfer that weight, come onto the front of your toes and then back onto your heels. So just nice and slowly forwards and back, just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that weight's going nice and evenly down to your feet. Knees are nice and soft, so not locked back. Hands up onto your pelvis very gently. We're going to tilt that pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just a gentle movement forwards and back. Just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. That pelvis in that nice neutral position. Those ribs are soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long lifted from there. Well done. So we're going to float our hands up to shoulder height, and we're going to start with our toy soldier movement, just to warm up through our arms and legs. So we're going to raise one hand up towards the ceiling, and then lower back down. Opposite arm, raising up and down. Good. So now not letting those ribs flare, we're still keeping that control, so we lift and lower through those arms. Now if you can, we're gonna add in our opposite heel raise and switching round. So still keep that pelvis nice and level as we're moving through, opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, just walking gently through here. Well done. Side to side, lovely. Reaching the arm, gentle stretch there. Moving through those feet and ankles and a little bit stretch through those toes as well. Good, reaching. Well done. Last few here. Opposite arm and leg. Good. And again, reaching and lowering. Well done. Very good. Let's do one more each side. And then just lowering those arms back down. Well done, relaxing from there. Okay, so feet staying that hip with distance apart. We're going to a little squat from here. So sit that bottom back as if you've got a chair behind you. We're going to drop down and lift up. Well done. And again, drop down, lifting up. So keeping those knees that hit with distance apart, they shouldn't be going inwards or widening. We're keeping that distance, dropping down, lifting up. Good. Sitting that weight back onto your heels. Drop down, lift up. Well done. Drop down, lift up. Now on this next one, we're going to drop down. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and lift back up. Good. And we're going to lift and lower. And again, drop down, lift up. And on this next one, we're going to drop down. Hold if you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift back up. Well done. Last few. Lifting and lowering. Good. And this last time, we're going to drop down. Hold that there. Five, four, three, two, one one and lifting back up very good well done okay so we're going to work our legs a little bit more with a leg lift sideways here so the leg you're standing on is going to work hard as well to support you keep that knee soft with this leg we're either going to reach that toe out to the side and back or if you can we can hover it above the floor and down so pick what's comfortable for you taking that leg out to the side and back now keep this pelvis nice and level you can see my upper body is not moving okay so don't try and go further and lean your body over. So keep up nice in that centre and back with that leg. Good. Out to the side and back. Well done. Keep going here. Lovely. Out to the side and back. So this works, this standing leg, just as hard as this leg out to the side. Because that's having to work to stabilise you here as well. Well done. And again, out and back. Very good. Now on this next one, we're going to bring that leg out to the side. If you can, we're going to do eight little pulses. So we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower that leg back down. Well done. Okay, so same on the other side. We're going to either reach that toe out to the side and back or hover the leg above and back. That leg you're standing on is working hard, but still keep this pelvis nice and level, nice and centered through that trunk. Well done. And again out the side and back. Well done. Reaching away and back. And again, a few more here. Working hard to support you. Good. And again, out to the side and back. 
Well done. Out to the side and back. Good, now on this next one, if you can, we're gonna come out to the side and eight little pulses. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lowering that leg back down. Well done, very good. Okay, so we're gonna work our bottom muscles a little bit harder and lengthen through the body. So I'm gonna come side on so you can see me a bit better. And we're gonna start by reaching this leg out behind you and then back. Same leg, reach back. You can keep that toe in contact with the floor if you want to, reaching back and forwards. As before, this leg you're standing on is working hard to support you as well. Reaching back and forwards. Now we can add in that opposite arm reach and back. Well done. Opposite arm reach and lower. Reaching arm and leg away and back. Reaching away and back. Well done. And again. And lowering. Good. And back, squeeze that bottom, it's not a big movement. And back, well done. Last one here. And folding back down, very good, well done. Okay, we do the same on the other side. So start by just reaching that toe behind and back, extending that hip, using those bottom muscles to take that leg back and forwards. So either keep that toe on the ground or hover it above. We can add in that opposite arm reach and fold back. And again. Reaching away, fold back. Reach away, folding back, well done. Last few here, nice and controlled, well done. Reaching away and back. Good, and again, reach away, fold back. Lovely, let's do one last time. And folding back down, well done, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna to come to the end of my mat, so we're gonna do a few roll downs from here. So I'm gonna take a breath in, as you breathe out, we need to tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there. Then as you breathe out, slowly restacking that spine, gently back up into standing. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there. Then as you breathe out, slowly coming back up into standing. Well done, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands gently down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there, and as you breathe out, slowly coming back up. Fantastic, now on this next one, we're gonna come down and roll down into four point kneeling. So take a breath in, as you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Soften the knees at your end point. Then we're going to walk our hands gently down into four-point kneeling. And we're going to continue our class from here. Okay, so we're going to continue the class here into four-point kneeling. So hands just in front of those shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Elbows nice and soft as well, so the insides of the elbows should be facing each other. And we're just going to start by stretching through our spine with a cat stretch. So we're going to tuck our head under, arching that back, flexing through that spine, and then drop down, looking up and gently extending. So just repeating that here in your own time, tucking that head under and then drop down and looking forwards. Good, and again, tucking that head under, arching that back up and then dropping down, looking forwards. Good, and again, tuck that head under, arching that back, good. And then dropping down, looking up. So we just do the last couple here. Well done, dropping down. On this next one, I just want you to think about where that midpoint is between those two movements. Good, so that back is nice and flat, that tailbone's tucked under. I'm gonna go into our leg pulling prone here. So we're gonna work into our abdominals. So I'm gonna tuck my toes under. I want you to take a breath in. As you breathe out, I want you to just hover your knees just off the mat, breath in to hold. Then as you breathe out, lowering back down. Well done, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift off the mat, breath in to hold. Then as you breathe out, lowering back down. So it's not a big movement, breath in again. As you breathe out, lift up, breath in to hold. And as you breathe out, lowering back down. Well done, and again. So as we lift up, just that little way, holding that there, and then lowering down. It's actually easier to lift higher. So last couple, just lifting and lowering. Again, one more here, and out. Good, breath in to hold, 
and lowering back down well done now we can either continue with a few more here or if you can bring your hand a little bit further in front and we take a breath in again as we breathe out lift those knees again but this time we're going to extend over those hands breath in to hold then as we breathe out lowering back down if that feels too much just continue with the lift and lower but if you can we're going to breath in as you breathe out lift out reach forward shooting forward over those hands breath in as you breathe out lowering back down make sure your hands are in front enough so you've got somewhere you're going over towards them okay breath in and as you breathe out lowering back down well done last few here breath in as you breathe out lift up reach forwards breath in to hold and as you breathe out lowering back down well done last couple breath in as you breathe out lift up reach forwards breath in to hold and as you breathe out lowering back down lovely one last time breath in as you breathe out lift up reach forwards breath in to hold and then as you breathe out lowering back down very good let's come off those wrists have a little stretch out here just drop down into that child pose stretch well done breathing in and out relaxing those shoulders down well done and again breath in and out relaxing down Good, one last time, breathing in and out, relaxing down, well done. Okay, so we're going to come on to our elbows here and then we're going to just come with those knees underneath those hips still and we're going to do a few little folding kicks from here. So we're going to reach one leg behind and fold it back in. Same leg, we're going to reach back, fold it. Good, breathe out, kicking that leg away. Breathe in as you're folding back, well done. Reaching away, folding back. So really working those bottom muscles. So we're reaching away, fold back. Good, reach away and fold back, well done. Folding back, reach away, fold back. Lovely, good, and again, reach away and folding back. Good, reach away, fold back, last few. Good. Good, now on this last one, we're gonna reach away, hold that there, and I want you to do a little circle around one way. Good. And let's change direction. And then we're gonna fold that leg back in. Very good, well done. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. So opposite leg, we're gonna reach and fold back. Reach away and fold back. Good, breathing out as you reach away, breathe in to fold back. Breathing out, breathe in to fold back. Good, breathe out. Breathe in to fall back. Well done. Breathe in to fall back. Reach away. Well done. Folding back. Reach away. Fold back. Good. So really getting those glutes working. That bottom extending that leg away. Well done. Reach away and fold back. A few more here. Breathing out as you reach away. Breathe in to fold in. Very good. Last few, well done. And now on this last one, we're gonna reach that leg away, hold that there if you can. I'm gonna do a little circle around one way. Good. And let's change direction. Very good, and fold that leg back in. Excellent, drop back down and have a little stretch off those arms into our child pose one more time. So breathing in and out, and just allow those arms to sink down into that mat. Well done, reaching the fingertips away a little bit if you can, breathing in and out. Good, well done, and again, breath in and out, relaxing down. Very good. Okay, so we're going to come over onto our sides now. We're going to start onto our elbows here, if you can. So make sure that elbow is directly underneath that shoulder, so not putting too much pressure through the shoulder. We're going to bend the lower leg, but straighten through that top leg. This top arm, we're going to reach above our head. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring our elbow to knee, and we're going to fold in and reach away. And folding in, reaching away. So getting some abdominal work going on here, Reaching away and folding in. Good. Well done. Reach away. 
Breathe in, fold in, breathe out, reach away. Well done. Reach away. And again. Keep going here if you can. Reaching away, folding it. Let's do five more. We're going to go five, four, three, two, and one. And reach away. Bring that arm slowly back down. Well done. Bend those knees up. So we're going to grab a block and come all the way down onto our sides here. So just coming down, just use that to support our head. We're going to stay onto our side and work our bottoms a little bit more with our clam movement. So feet and hips roughly in that line, those hips are stacked on top of each other. And we're going to start by lifting up that top knee and lowering back down. So feet together, lift up through that top knee and lower down. Good, so we want to feel it in this back pocket side area. If you don't, might just need to straighten or bend those knees up a little bit just to get that working in the right place. But make sure you're keeping those hips stacked. So we often want to cheat to let those hips roll back. So try and keep them stacked on top of each other as much as you can. As we're lifting and lowering through that top knee. Well done. Lifting and lowering. Now if that feels comfortable here, we can stay with those feet down. Or if you can, we're going to raise those feet up to hip height and we're going to lift and lower through that top knee again here. Good. And again, lifting and lowering. Very good. Keeping that control as we're lifting and lowering through that top knee. Well done. And down. Lifting and lowering. Well done. Now on this next one, if you can for an extra challenge, we're going to lift this top knee, keep it lifted, then we're going to stretch and tap for eight. So we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower that knee down, lower those feet down. I give those muscles a little rest there. Okay, so we're going to rest these, these legs for a minute and then drop that block down to the floor. Head at the front of it, arms out in front. And we're going to go into our arm opening stretch here. So we're going to lift up through this top arm, opening out through that chest, coming around and back, following with that head, just rolling on that block, and then gently back. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out through that chest, coming around and back, and then gently back. Lovely. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out round and back, and then gently back to that star. And again, lift up through that top arm, rotating gently round and back. And then back to that stop. And again, lift up through the top arm, opening around and back. And back to that stop. Good. We'll just do last few here. Remember, keep that elbow bent if you need to. You're not pulling through that shoulder too much. Round and back. And back to the start. Good. Opening out. And gently back. Lovely. Let's do one more here. Opening out through that chest, looking round and back. And then back to that start. Very good. Well done. Okay, so we're going to come up and over onto the other side. Do the same again. We'll bring our block with us. But we're going to start on our elbows, as we did before. So we're going to have that elbow maybe back right underneath that shoulder. So we're not putting too much pressure through that shoulder there. Lower leg bent, top leg straight. And we're going to reach this top arm up and over our head. Good. And then we're going to fold those elbow to knee, folding in, reaching away. So as before, just bringing in those abdominals as we're folding in and reaching away. Good. So breathe in as you fold in, breathe out as you reach away. Breathe in to fold in, breathe out, reaching away. So we're controlling that movement, folding in, reaching away. Good. Fold in, reach away. Elbow, knee, reach away. Good. Working through that movement. Lovely. Reaching away. Good. Let's do five more here. So we're going to go five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And reaching away. Well done. Float that arm back down and bend those knees back up. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to come down onto our sides from here. Use that block just to support our head. So we have our knees bent up, we're going to go into our clam as we did before to start with. So those hips are stacked on top of each other, feet and hips roughly in that line. So just imagine you've got that imaginary wall behind us, kind of up against it there. 
So feet together, we're gonna lift up through that top knee and lower back down. So keeping those hips stacked, lifting and lowering. So again, as before, you wanna feel it in that back pocket side area. If you don't, we just wanna slightly adjust those feet, either bending or straighten the knees a little bit more. Well done. Hips staying stacked, lifting and lowering. Well done. And again, lifting and lowering through that top knee. Good. Keeping those hips stacked and we're lifting and lowering. Well done. Lifting and lowering here. Very good, making sure those hips aren't rolling back. We're keeping them stacked, not cheating, rolling back. Keeping them stacked as we're lifting and lowering. Good, now if that's feeling comfortable here, we can stay here at this level. Or if you can, we can raise those feet up to hip height and we're gonna lift and lower through that top knee again here. So still keeping those hips stacked, we're lifting and lowering. Well done. Lifting and lowering. Well done. Lift and lower through that top knee. Well done. And then as before, if we can, for a little extra challenge, we're gonna lift this top knee, keep it lifted, and we're gonna stretch and tap for eight. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, lower the knee down, lower those feet down. Give that muscle a little rest, very good. So just have a rest there. We're gonna drop that block down onto the floor, arms out in front. We're just gonna do a nice little stretch through the upper body with our arm opening. So we're gonna lift up through this top arm, opening out through that chest, coming around and back, following that head, just rolling on that block, and then gently back to that start. And again, lifting up through that top arm, opening out around and back, following that head, rolling on that block, and then back to that start. As before, don't pull through your shoulder too much. Keep that elbow bend gently if you can. Just rotating around and back. Just as far as comfortable, well done. A few more here, opening out and back. Lovely, and again. And holding back, good, last few. Opening out through that chest, just that head rolling on that block. Just following that arm around and back. Well done. And gently back. Lift up the top arm, rotating around. Well done. And let's just do one last one here. Lift up through that top arm, opening out around and back, following that head, and then back to that start. Well done. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna come around onto our backs from here. So just pop that block back down. I'm gonna come down onto our backs, onto the mat. So feet and knees like hip width distance apart. Just to start with, as we normally do, just tilt that pelvis forwards and back, just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So in that nice and neutral position. Those ribs are nice and soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted from here. So we're gonna bring our hands behind our head to start with, and I want you to raise one leg up into our tabletop position. So we're gonna take a breath in, as you breathe out, I want you to stretch the leg away, and at the same time, we're gonna lift that head into that abdo prep, and then we're gonna fold back down. Same leg, we're gonna stretch away, and fold back down, well done. And again, and down. So I'm gonna breathe out as I lift up, stretch the leg away, breathe in, folding down, good. And down, well done, and again. And down, well done. A few more here, and down. If you want to make it a little bit harder, don't lower that head all the way to the mat, just lifting and lowering slightly from there. Well done. Very good, let's do eight more here. So we can go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and lower that head all the way back down. Lower that leg back to that start, very good. Okay, opposite leg lifted into that tabletop. We do the same again, breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift the head into abdo prep, reach that leg away, lowering back down, well done. Reaching away and down. So breathe out, so we're lifting up, breathing into lower. Breathe out, reaching away. Breathe into lower, well done, reach away and down. 
breathing out and lowering. Very good, and down. So as I said before, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging as we lift up, don't lower that head all the way back down. Lifting and lowering. So we're just still lifting and lowering, but we're not putting that head all the way back onto the mat. Good, that's an option if you want to. Let's do eight more here. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. And we're gonna lower that head back down, lower that leg back to that start position. Well done. Okay, so arms back down by your side. We're gonna just work our lower tummy a little bit more here with our scissors movement. So we're gonna float one leg up into tabletop. I'm gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, we need to tap that foot down, and lift up. Good, and again, opposite leg, we tap down, lift up, and lower. So we're alternating sides here, but the really important thing is to keep that knee at that 90 degree angle. So we're not letting the knee bend. We're keeping that control as we're lifting, tap down, back up, and lower. Opposite side, we lift up, tap down, back up, and lower. Now if that's comfortable here, we can continue with this alternating legs. Or if you can, we can float both legs safely up into double tabletop. And we do the same again, tapping down, alternating sides. Good. So we're tapping down, lifting up. Tap down, lift up. Good. To breathe out as you tap down, breathe in, fold back. Alternating sides here, still keeping that knee at that 90 degree angle. Make sure you're not letting it bend. So really having to work on controlling that leg down. And that movement's coming from that hip as we're lowering that leg, lift back up. Well done. And down. And down, well done. Alternating sides, lifting and lowering. Well done. And down. Good, excellent. Now, if you can, for the last few, if you want an extra little challenge, we can go a little bit quicker and we can tap, tap, tap. So we're breathing in for two and out for two. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Keeping that tummy nice and flat. If you're feeling any doming or arching of the back, come down to those levels. Good, breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. Coming back to that star and then lowering those legs down one at a time. Well done, let's bring those knees in, have a quick little hug and stretch out there. Good, so just breathing in and out here. On that out breath, if you can, just relax down into that stretch, just that little bit further if you can. And we're gonna hold this stretch here. Good, breathing in and out. Good, well done, and again, breath in. And out, very good. And then just lowering those legs one at a time. Back to that start, very good. Okay, so we're gonna do some hundreds movements here. So we're gonna reach our hands down along the mat here. And we're gonna st either start with a single leg, so we can raise one leg into tabletop. And then we can, we're gonna pulse our hands, breathing in for about five breath cycles and out. And then we can switch our legs around about halfway. Or if you can, we can bring both legs up into double tabletop, but we can glue our feet and knees together because we're gonna keep them there. So pick what's comfortable for you, either a single leg or both legs lifted. We're gonna reach our fingertips away and we're gonna breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breathing in and out. Now if that's okay here, we can lift our head into that abdo prep and we're gonna hold that here if you can, still breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breathing in and out. Good, breathing in. Three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Well done. Now, if you're a single leg, then switch them over to about halfway. So, breathing in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Breathing in. Good. Keeping that tummy nice and flat. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Well done. Last few. Breathing in. And out. Keeping that tummy nice and flat, breathing in. And out, get one more breath in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, 
five, well done. Lower that head back down and then lower those legs if they're lifted one at a time back to that start. Very good, well done. Okay, so we're gonna bring our hands back behind our head from here. And we're gonna go into our oblique prep from here. So just to bring in a little bit of our obliques here, and we're gonna lift our head, but we're gonna go into a slight diagonal. So I want you to imagine that right shoulder blade going towards that left knee. So we're gonna come across the body slightly. So breath in, as you breathe out, we're lifting, looking into that diagonal, and then lowering down. Good, now I'm gonna go the opposite direction, so I'm going towards this knee now, and then lowering down. Good, and again, breathing out, breathing into lower, and again. Alternating sides and down. So we're just bringing in those obliques as we're lifting and lowering. Well done. And down. So we're breathing out, so lifting up, breathing as you lower. So bringing that opposite, that shoulder blade to that opposite knee. Good. And down, lovely. And lowering, last few here. And down, good. Keep it going if you can, lifting and lowering. So just in that slight diagonal, well done. And down. Lovely, last few. And down. And down, well done. Down. Let's do one more each side. And down, opposite side and lower and then lowering that head back down, bring those arms back down by your side. Well done. Okay, so let's have a little stretch out here. So arms down by your side or out to the side of you. We're gonna drop those knees over, just rotating, stretching through that side we've just worked. Well done. Bring those knees back up and over to that opposite side. So just opening out, lengthening out through that side, just rotating into that spine and then gently coming back up. So we're gonna drop, turn that head, as we drop those knees over, turn that head to that opposite direction. Good, and then gently coming back up and over to the opposite side. Well done, so we're rotating side to side from here. Drop the knees over, turning that head, and then gently coming back up. And again, drop the knees over, turning that head, and then coming back up, well done. Lovely. Dropping the knees over, rotating gently. And then coming back out. Let's do the last few here. Drop the knees over, turning that head. And then gently coming back up. Well done. Good, let's do one more each side. Drop those knees over. Gently coming back up. And over to that opposite side. Well done, and then bring those arms gently back down. Okay, so let's just stretch out through our bottom muscles here. So we're gonna put one foot onto the opposite knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up in towards you, just as far as you feel comfortable. And we're gonna hold this stretch here. So just breathing in and out on that out breath if you can. Just gently dropping down into that stretch, just as far as comfortable and we're gonna hold this stretch here. So just breathing in and out. Good, and again, breath in and out. Relaxing down into that stretch, well done. Breathing in and out from there, very good. And then we're gonna lower that leg back down. Do the same on the other side, opposite foot onto the other knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up in towards you just as far as you feel comfortable. Then we're gonna hold this stretch here. So just breathing in and out on the out breath if you can. Just relax down into that stretch. Just that a little bit further if you can. Breathing in and out. Good, and again, breathing in and out. Just relaxing down into that stretch just as far as you feel comfortable. Holding that there, well done. Breathing in and out. Good, and then just lowering that leg back down, excellent. Then we're gonna bring our knee up towards the ceiling, stretch through the back of the leg. I'm just gonna hold this stretch here, so you can use your hand just to support that leg. And just stretching through into the back of the leg, just as far as you feel comfortable. 
toes pointing up towards the ceiling, we're gonna hold this stretch here. So again, just breathing in and out, holding that there. Good, and again, breathing in and out. If you can, we're gonna point and flex through the foot. Just gently mobilizing there, pointing and flexing. Well done. And then toes pointing up to the ceiling again, stretching through that leg. Well done, holding that there, breathing in and out. And then gently lower that leg back down. Very good. Do the same on the other side. So knee up towards the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the leg. Use your hand to support that leg there, stretching through the back of the leg and then holding that stretch. Well done. Toes pointing up towards the ceiling, lengthening through, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out from there, well done. And again, we're gonna point and flex through the ankle. Good. Just pointing and flexing gently through from here. Well done. And then toes pointing up to the ceiling again, holding that stretch again, one more time, breathing in and out. Good, and one more breath in and out. And then bend the knee and then lower that leg back down. Well done. Okay, so come back up into sitting from here. Just gonna finish with a couple of stretches in sitting. So just sitting comfortably, legs crossed, legs out in front, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm just gonna relax those shoulders down from here, keep that neck nice and long. We're gonna bring our palms facing towards us. We take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna open those hands out widening those shoulders and then gently back, good. Breathing out, opening out, breathing in, folding in, good. Breathing out, opening out, breathing in, folding in. And again, opening out, breathe in, fold in. And again, breathe in, fold in. Well done, and again, opening out, folding in. Lovely, last couple here. Opening out and folding back the last time. Open up and fold those arms back. Well done, relax those arms back down, well done. And we're gonna just drop one hand down onto the side and we're gonna reach the opposite arm over, lengthening out through that side and then back up and over to the other side, good. And again, reaching up and over, breath in. As you breathe out, back up and over, good. One more time each side, drop down, reach over, breath in here. As you breathe out, back up and over. Good, last time, reaching over, breath in here. And as you breathe out, back up and over. Well done, and relaxing those shoulders down. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed the class today. Thanks for joining me, and see you again soon.